Hi guys, it's Julia here. Today, um, as you can see, I normally don't do um, hair stylings like this because my hair is getting thinner and I'm suffering from hair fall at the moment. So um, I tend to not to um, put any heat to my hair. But today, um, I wanted to do this a Instagram Betty look. So. Yeah, I just had to make everything flawless, so here you go. <laughs> um, hopefully my body doesn't look too pale compared to my face. I tried my best to sort of match this uh, foundation colour to my uh, body colour. And this is actually the... Okay, I'm actually using this um, fake tan product from... What is it called? I'm currently using this one to uh, tan myself because I don't get to go out in the sun so much in Singapore. How crazy is that? But um, to be honest, dropping here. Um, to be honest, um, it's just too humid, hu too humid, too hot outside. Um, I don't really choose to go outside um, so often, even on my off day. I, to choose to, go, choose to go inside the buildings rather um, because it's too hot outside I don't want to sweat all over um, yeah so my body has been getting paler and paler and yeah so I bought this one online I'm not too sure whether you can get this from anywhere like a retail store in Singapore but um, yeah I couldn't find it anywhere so I, I bought it online and um, this is really easy um, just uh, after your shower um, apply it all over your body and wait for three minutes just massage it all over your body um, then just wash it off it's that easy so yeah I've been enjoying this one I see the result gradually not like instantly I become like so tanned or anything like that so it's a very natural tan um, so yeah the color actually builds up slowly the reason why I love this is that um, with the normal um, fake tans when you put it all over your body and when you try to um, wear clothes that are really light colored including whites um, yeah they just become messy they ruin the clothes I really hate that idea yeah that's the reason why I love this one so much but the result is you know very uh, slowly building up but I mean it's better than nothing I guess one thing I don't like about these fake tins um, is the smell I really don't like how they smell um, this one also has that typical fake tin smell um, hopefully in the future someone comes out with something that smells really nice but anyway so um, I have been using this one for um, seven days consecutive seven days but still yeah I look quite pale but actually it's much much better than before so if I type in Instagram baddie on Google okay this is from the urban dictionary.com Instagram baddie a baddie who is Instagram famous for being a baddie uh, famous for being beautiful spreading trends having on-point brows famous for being beautiful uh, not really <laughs> I don't think so um, spreading trends okay spreading trends not too sure about that having on-point brows do you see that do you see that a baddie is a girl who is always on fleek. Her makeup is effortlessly flawless. Is it flawless today? Actually, my skin is not flawless today. Um, I've got a lot of small bumps in. A baddie will usually follow the basic clothing color schemes of nude, mauves, uh, beiges, plums, and browns. Her style is a mix of classy meets badass. She is the type of girl covered in Nike and Adidas streetwear. Okay, um, Nike or Adidas? 
How about this? <laughs> I think I should reveal my shoulders a bit. Can you see the Nike logo? Not quite, but still Nike. Zip it up a little bit. Looks pretty good. Anyway, continue. A true Betty can practically have any guy she wants and is the ultimate package. She has taste, class, and is a perfectionist with everything she does. Ooh, perfectionist. That sounds like me. From her makeup ability to her intellectual level. Makeup ability, I think I can confidently say that I am a perfectionist. Very perfect, always. But intellectual level... She's confident within herself and never hates on other women. Why would I do that? On the contrary, a Betty will bring out the worst in other women. I don't want to do that. Nike. Basic. One more time. Fleek. If you want to know how I got this look, please keep on watching. I have finished putting skincare on, so let's begin. I'm using the face fabric from Giorgio Armani as a pore primer. I'm applying this to the center part of the face where pores are large and visible. This is designed to use your fingers, so blend it out using a small amount each time to create a thin layer. When I tried using this before applying any foundation, it gave me the most flawless finish. I'm using the Power Fabric Foundation from Giorgio Armani as it is the fullest coverage foundation I own in my collection. I'm applying this one with a flat top dense brush to create an airbrushed look. It is the perfect foundation for this Instagram baddie look. It would make your skin look like porcelain. And look how happy I am with the result. <laughs> I'm using the NARS Cream Concealer and the Armani Liquid Concealer to mix and create the perfect texture and shade for my spots. I used the same product, same method, same ratio to mix and conceal my spots and dark circles every day. When I discovered this combination, it was the game changer for me. The Armani Concealer applies with the thinnest layer and it is super hydrating. And the NARS Concealer gives the fullest coverage with the smoothest texture. Hence, they make a perfect partner when they're mixed together. I cannot rave enough about these concealers. I even have backups. I'm setting everything with the Guerlain loose powder, uh, which I discovered with luck, <laughs> and it has become my favorite loose powder since then. I highly, highly recommend to people with oily skin. Your makeup will be at least eight hours lasting, trust me. This is the Hoola Bronzer. I have taken it um, out of the cardboard box because I just don't like the bulky packaging and it just never feels satisfying trying to get the product on the brush rolling inside that tiny cardboard box. Um, so uh, I depotted it and put it into a palette. I'm contouring and warming up the complexion at the same time. It's one of the best bronzers and the most basic item to have in your makeup collection. I'm applying the cream shadow stick from Bobbi Brown on the eyelids and all the way down the side of the nose. I chose this color to contour the small areas because it is neither um, red undertoned nor yellow undertoned. 
even the makeup beginners, you'll be able to create a nicely blended look. I'm using the small buffing brush to create a sharper structure to my face. This blends really well even on top of the setting powder. Amazing! I'm using one of the Inglot eyeshadows to deepen up the contoured areas and also to set it with a powder type shadow. I reckon the Instagram Maddie look definitely requires a strong impression and expression uh, coming from the eyes. So I'm adding the definition around the eye area and to the nose to create a depth between the eyes and the bridge of the nose. Add a small amount at each time, um, not to overly contour. Take your time in doing this to avoid looking muddy. I'm taking a highlight shade with um, Sheen Not Shimmer to brighten up the inner corners of the eyes. This helps to create even more depth and your makeup won't look muddy with a um, strong contour. It is a subtle difference, but um, I think it's a really important thing to share with you. Then I'm taking two very ordinary looking matte brown colors to deepen up the eyelids. With the lighter color, I'm concentrating it um, on the crease line. Actually, for me, it is where the eye socket is, so I should call it the eye socket line, <laughs> um, but you know what I mean. Um, this is just an easy, just easy peasy eye makeup. Just blend, blend, blend. <laughs> um, make sure both eyelids look the same. With the darker color, I'm applying it only to the outer third or outer half, I guess. Um, and with what's left on the brush, sweep across the bottom lash line too. I'm taking a smaller, flatter brush to create eyeliner with eyeshadow. I am one of those rare people who um, does not suit eyeliners. It's got to do with the shape of my eyes and um, how the eyelids roll in as I open up my eyes. Anyway, um, I am elongating my eyes using the same dark brown shade, creating a very soft eyeliner. This is more natural for my eyes, um, otherwise I would have to draw very thick and chunky eyeliner to create a cat eye look. And another reason why I like using eyeshadow only is to have my natural lashes clearly visible and distinguishable from the dark eyeshadows just by using mascara, um, you know, without having to put falsies. I'm taking a bright shimmery highlight shade and placing it on the inner corner of my eyes to really open up my eyes. I'm using the Shimmer Break from Bobbi Brown to highlight the highest points of my face. The cheekbones, ooh, that shine. <laughs> the temples, uh, the tip of, my, tip of the nose, and the bridge, of course. I'm not applying it on the bump of my nose, so the entire bridge looks uh, straight and less bumpy, if that makes sense. A little on the cupid's bow and on the brow bones as well. I'm brushing my eyebrows with the spoolie to dust off the excess loose powder and um, to shape them the way I want. This will give me a guideline, um, then I will know where to fill in.
I'm just being a little extra OCD about the whole eyebrow thing here. <laughs> I'm taking the clear brow gel from Givenchy to hold the brows into shape. I'm curling my lashes with my favorite eyelash curler from Shiseido. I'm using my Holy Grail mascara from Hero and Make. I usually do about three to four coats but today I did five coats <laughs> to really work out the um, volume. I'm trying to decide which lipstick to use, but I ended up using both. I'm taking the Peachy Coral Nude Shade from NARS to create a nice base. Then I am using the uh, Pinkish Brownie Nude Shade from Amani to fully cover my own lip color. So makeup's done, but my hair needs some styling. Thank you so much for watching guys, um, it was a really fun time uh, doing this look. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to see you all soon with another cool look. See you guys very soon.